My name is Doug Bailey. I'm the chair of the anthropology department here at San Francisco State. I'm an archaeologist, but archaeology, as you know, fits into anthropology, one of the four fields. And I'm really excited about being at San Francisco State because what we do is a new type of anthropology and a new type of archaeology, which is very much based in the community. We have a brand new project which we're starting based at Angel Island in the San Francisco Bay. So in working on Angel Island, what we want to do is to try to investigate all the different and sometimes conflicting histories that the island has. For example, today it's a tourist place, but in the past it was a processing center for Chinese and Japanese Americans. It has shell middens from Native American sites, which has burials in it. It's got a military base. So it has all these different identities and they don't all match up. And that's why we're using it as a site. It's the perfect laboratory for doing anthropological and archeological work. I can remember as a student sitting in a lecture and the professor was talking about prehistoric art, specifically figurines, statues, mainly of women from prehistoric Europe. And the lecture was brilliant, the photos were fantastic, but the professor couldn't really give us uh, an idea of what these things meant. And so we all sort of left the lecture uh, unimpressed and unsatisfied. And I sort of took that and ran with that. And that's become a major part of my research, looking at the ways in which prehistoric people have represented and figure human bodies and other people. It's imagery, it's visual culture, but it's ancient prehistoric visual culture. So when you start doing these sorts of things, you find the whole discipline of archeology span opens up. You're not only talking about trenches and artifacts, you start talking about the politics of vision, the philosophy of the ways in which people look and are looked at, um, and it's a really a much richer way of thinking about studying the past. So I spent a lot of time working in Romania and Bulgaria because my interest is in East European archaeology, specifically the prehistoric past. So I've run excavations and I continue to excavate in Romania on early Neolithic sites. Now the Neolithic is an important period because this is when people settled down and they farmed uh, agriculture, so cereals, wheat and barley but they also bred domesticated animals. And they made pots and they lived in houses. And these are all really the fundamental changes in human prehistory. So that's one of my main interests. Uh, and we've excavated in Romania, we have a big site at Magara, and we've also excavated in Bulgaria. One of the projects we've been working on is a film in Romania, in a small rural village, which really should be dying out because it's off the beaten track. And the amazing thing is this village is still alive. So we're making a film, we're taking photographs, we're using found sounds and found texts to represent this village in a non-narrative way. But we're also doing archaeological work because we're focusing on those topics of time, of duration, of life, of death, of economy. So you can see that archaeology here is very much a broad topic, which is anthropological, it's sociological, it's about visual culture. It's really about everything that you want to study.